Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local music scene and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and today I've been asked to review What Teenage Angst by recent Room 6 guests, The Dollheads. Their interview will be posting soon, so make sure you subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss it. Incidentally, if you'd like to be on the channel, hit me up using my email address or the Room 6 social media link down in the description. That's also where you can find ways to support the channel and the local music scene. Thanks! This trio of siblings has been making a lot of noise since forming in 2021, including winning the Henderson Nevada Battle of the Bands, having their music played on local radio show Rock Avenue with Room 6 alumni Josh Coots, and at a Vegas Golden Knights hockey game. And just to top it all off, they've even played at a little shindig you may have heard of called Life is Beautiful. <sighs> what was I doing as a teenager? Kicking things off is the provocatively titled Parasite, coming out swinging with power chords and a driving bass line and backbeat that sets up the listener for a good time. With familiar pop-punk rhythms and clean and powerful vocals, this tune is almost an homage to classic pop-punk bands and reminds me of everything from local acts like Room 6 guests The Negative Nancys and Crimson Riot to Joan Jett and The Donnas. With lyrics like, Drain the toxicity from all the ones who have lied and cheated on the game of life, but they don't see the karma coming around the corner and back again. This is the Dollhead's introduction of who they are and what you can expect. It's a good start, to say the least. The next track is the eponymous What Teenage Angst, and if you don't know what eponymous means, look it up. Reminiscent of early Green Day, initially driven forward by the bass line, this song builds to a fun chorus and there's even a bass solo. This one's full of introspection, yet still fun and upbeat. It's one of the quicker tunes on the album, but we can still get a full story with lyrics like, Everything's changing and I can't make up my mind. Do I want to live or do I straight up want to die? I'm always stressed or anxious. Can't get rid of teenage angst. Can I get a chance to try again? Song number three is Before Friday, continuing the theme of solid pop-punk elements fused with standard pop melodies and topics. This time, we hear a tale of longing and insecurity as old as time. Despite this, the song is a solid bop. Huh. I think I just felt my teenager cringe. No! God, please, no! 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 Anywho, this song is fun to be emo, too, with lyrics like, But when you looked at me, my heart stopped. That smile could make me drop down to my knees. I know it's wishful thinking. It's not a crime for dreaming, so just help me, please. Changing from hopeful love to lost love, the next tune on the album is Ode to You, written in memory of their dog. Are you crying? What's that? Are you crying? Am I crying? No, I'm not crying. You're crying. This one still rocks, however, with drum flams opening things up as the listener is treated to a love song written for a lost pet. With dynamic breakdowns and atmospheric guitar parts, lyrics like, Don't leave me, I need you, promise you'll make it through this. Please hold on and don't let go, because you will break this heart of mine. Drive home the emotional meaning behind them. Okay, okay that's probably enough. That's enough. All right. Okay. Okay. Are we good? After that is January 28th, the longest track on the album. Written from the perspective of someone who messed up a year ago, this song is an apology letter to someone. Combining lyrical vocals with a storytelling vibe, this one builds up a nice tension before the chorus comes in. The vocal harmonies here are really nice and sweet, lending some weight to lyrics like, I stood and watched as you walked away, had no idea what to do or say, I wanted to hide, and I wanted to cry, but more than anything, I wanted to apologize. Coming up next is Still Alive, blasting power chords right into our ears before the verse kicks in. With a rocking backbeat counterpointing sugar-sweet vocals, it's easy to miss the seriousness of the lyrics, such as, I'm trapped between the hours, made friends with the demon that's under the bed, it's messing with my head. The seventh track is Limbo, starting out with just vocals and a simple guitar before everything else crashes in. With the verses using mostly the bass to move things forward, this song has plenty of breakdowns to help the listener focus on lyrics like, Have you ever been so stuck in between? You can't be too nice, you can't be too mean. They tell you to grow up, then say you're too young. Don't know what else to say, so I guess I'm just done today. It's a little different than the rest of the album, and I like it. Reminding me of my wife, love you honey. Better Half is up next. Another straight-ahead pop-punk love song that asks for a relationship from the subject of the tale, the band uses musical breaks to punctuate things 
and does a nice job of keeping it interesting. It's just an all-around romantic song with lyrics like, You're one of the last reasons I'm okay. I don't want you to ever go away. I want to ask you something. Do you want to be the better half of me? One of my favorite tracks on the album, I Wish I Were a Demon, is next. Opening with a solid bass line, this one instantly makes me think of certain anime and manga, while also reminding me of certain grunge songs from the 90s. It's short, but rockin' and a crowd favorite at their shows. I mean, you gotta love lyrics like, Red eyes and glistening fangs, can you take the pain away? I'm trapped inside my prison of a brain. I'd rather be feared than be scared. I'm being torn apart again, because I've got these demons in my head. Am I right? Finishing things up is She's a Girl, the shortest song on the album. Kicking off with the drums, this is a great way to complete this band's initial musical offering. Putting a lot of effort into making their final statement to the listener. Lyrics like, You say that we're dramatic, you just don't get our tactics. We shouldn't have to change for you. Make it abundantly clear we haven't heard the last of them, and I'm glad to hear it. Overall, What Teenage Angst by The Dollheads is a solid first outing, but still leaves room for musical and songwriting growth as these three teenagers live and experience more of what life has to throw at them. I look forward to seeing what the future brings from them. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope that you'll click the link down in the description to get your own copy of What Teenage Angst by the Dollheads. It's a great album, and um, you should definitely check them out live if you get the chance. In the meantime, if you want to see more videos like this, please click up here somewhere. And if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, you know what to do. Click down there, and don't forget to ring the bell. I want to thank all the new subscribers and the Patreon patrons. Appreciate you all. Uh, yeah. Other than that, remember to be amazing, and we'll see you next time on Room 6.